Welcome to Ralph of the Rominator. This week I was challenged by Michael Ananin. Hello Michael, how are you doing? Lovely chat. And I was challenged to go into town dressed up as a little girl and say to people, Hello, where's my mummy? Do you know, do you know where my mummy is? Don't know why I'm doing a northern accent, but um, I just, I don't know, it works. Let me just get dressed. Hang on. Anyway, I think I'm ready to go. Right, let's find my mummy. See you later, guys. I think this looks like her. Do you think this looks like my mummy? Oh, have a look for my mummy. Sorry, have you seen my mum? She looks like this. Have you seen my mummy? No, I haven't. Have you seen my mummy? No, they haven't seen my mummy. Mum! Mum! They're my friends from school, they're with you. Have you seen my mummy? Yeah. Where is she? Down there. Oh, I, thank you. I know exactly where he is. She? It's hey, my mum. No, it's your mum. Yeah, my mum's not a man. Is your mum a man? Mum. Mummy. Mummy. Mum. I missed you. Where were you? Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. She's very rude, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. She's very rude. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you, Merry Christmas, you. and Happy New Year, and much. Halloween, and much. Easter, Thank and you. um... Mum! <laughs> Mummy! Hello! Hi Mum, how are you? <laughs> oh, thank you for finding her for me. Mummy, it's my mum! She's a bit hairy. Bye bye. 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 that was beautiful. <laughs> Did you see that? That was that was such a you know heart wrenching story. The whole time I was gripping onto my seat, going, "Oh, is he gonna find his mum? Is is she gonna find? I don't know." It was good. Ah, I like that. Oh, blind. Ralph the Rominator is a feature on my Wizard Radio show, where each week, different listeners send in different challenges for me to do. We choose the best challenge, and I have one week to record myself doing it. If I fail the challenge, then the person who suggested it wins 60 points towards the next big competition. If I succeed at the challenge, then the person who suggested it only wins one point. Now, unfortunately, that does mean for Michael, you've only won yourself one point towards this week's competition. Sorry about that, Michael, but I hope you have enjoyed uh, this week's uh, Wrath of the Rominator episode 10 uh, as much as I have, uh, because I must say, it was really nice uh, being a little girl again. This was Ralph of the Romanator episode 10. I hope you enjoyed it. Next week will be Ralph of the Romanator episode 11. And if you want to be the person to challenge me on Ralph of the Romanator, then all you have to do is message us on Facebook, on Twitter, send us an email. Um, all the links for sending us messages on challenges are in the description. Ralph of the Romanator is part of my Wizard Radio show, which you can listen to uh, every Sunday from 6pm till 8pm on www.wizardradio.co.uk slash listen live. Episode 9 is right here. You can click on it. It's a good episode. Uh, it's the Halloween special, actually, and no one challenged me for that one. What I did was I walked around uh, my town dressed as a vampire and asked many people if I could um, bite their neck and suck their blood. Episode 11. Click that and you can watch the next episode. Um, that's right there. Uh I guess that's it. So, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this week's Wrath of the Rominator. Um, see you next week, episode 11. And before I go, there's one more thing that I have to say, and that is that you must always remember to.